I'm Tara. I'm a um, Editing expert. I'm, I'm editing all this out. All the, I'm like, blah, 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 all over my words. Okay, two. Cut. Okay, are we both in frame? Are you ready? Okay. with another Beauty Tip Tuesday. We've been talking about skincare and makeup and all that good stuff, but I thought it was kind of time to move on over to hairstyling and more specifically, hair length. I get a lot of questions about if this is my hair, do I have extensions, how did I grow it so long, all that good stuff. So I thought I would share kind of my tips on how I went from more like, well, I was more like this, right? <laughs> like these little ends to down here. But in order to share that with you, I wanted to bring on a guest. This is Tara Phillips. Tara is my cutting specialist. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? That's yeah. right. Yeah. Now, I go to a different person for cutting expertise and a different person for color expertise. So my beauty tip for hair this week, and we'll do more things on hair. I think Tara's gonna join us again in some other videos. But for this week, the hair tip is and it might kind of sound cliche, get your hair trimmed every six to seven weeks. Don't skip it. Three, three and a half years ago, my hair just would not grow. I couldn't, no matter what I did, and I would have it cut fairly often, but it still wouldn't grow. And I found that my, my ends were gross and they were short and they kept getting shorter and just it just wasn't working. So I had a friend that referred me over to Tara. <laughs> she has changed my hair it has been so amazing because i committed to going every six to seven weeks so while we're sitting here it is time for me to have a cut and tara's going to do that while she also gives you more tips on how to grow your hair do you remember the shape my hair was in when i first came to you <laughs> yes do you want to tell them <laughs> yes we had to, the, the pieces around the face were very, very fragile, almost overprocessed from hair color, and just not taking care of it by getting your regular trims. We, each time we would have to cut more and more off. Honestly, the key to every six week trim, if you're wanting to grow your hair out, is that you're not letting it get too damaged or too long and having to cut more off every time you come back. So a little bit each time is where you're going to see your hair growing faster, healthier, and longer versus coming in with a lot of split ends, excessive damage. We have to take that off in order for your hair to grow. And you're kind of starting where you left off and wanting your hair to get a little bit longer, but you feel like you just keep getting shorter. I feel like so it's, it's grown like, like crazy yes. just in the past six weeks. And I remember when I went to you six weeks ago, I almost didn't come in because I was like, you know, it's so kind of short, it. I don't need it, or short for me, I don't need it. But I, I went and you just took a tad bit off and it has grown like crazy. So now I feel like I need to take a little bit more off than what we typically do. So today, instead of your, you know, little like quarter inch to half inch trim, are you wanting more off just because? Yeah, did you guys hear that? You usually cut what, quarter to half inch mm -hmm. off my hair? That's it. That is all it takes. You got to be religious to it. I promise your hair will grow if you're religious to every six weeks with your stylist, whoever that is. Um, it'll grow, won't it? I mean, yeah. you have to do it. I used to think that cutting would keep it short and it's actually just the opposite of that. Just the opposite. What are some things that you would say that women do wrong for hair growth? Um, you know, one of them I think would be not regularly brushing your hair and not using the right products during heat styling. Mm. Heat styling is not a bad thing. It is not a bad thing. But if you are not putting a thermal protecting product, you can definitely damage it. Tangles will break the hair. If you don't brush your hair regularly, if you don't use the right products, and if using that heat with a product in there, it actually is really helping the hair stay nice and uniformed and not kind of roughed up and break. A lot of times, you know, excessive buns and ponytails, which I'm mm -hmm. kind of guilty of. Which satin silk pillowcases are incredible. If you don't have one for your hair, your face, your wrinkles, um, it is a huge, huge beauty mm -hmm. tip wow. to sleep with a satin pillowcase. There you go. <laughs> so your hair doesn't get, you know, roughed up on the cotton. Um, that can cause a lot of breakage too. So that satin will just kind of 
be really, really smoothing against the hair. So if you're kind of tossing and turning while you sleep, oh, I'll do it. Interesting. Um, that will help maintain the integrity of your hair and your skin. What are we gonna do with your bangs today? They have grown too. Can you tell? Yes. <laughs> My bangs. <laughs> They're growing. But I think I'm really liking them longer. Yeah. I'm liking pictures that I have with them. Oh, good. Yeah, uh, long like this. Good, good, so good. I'm gonna keep them long. Just um, you know, just layer them in. I'm glad she said that, actually, because two things I've noticed is, one, if you see yourself in a picture and you're like, oh, I really do not like that, consider something different. Change it. You can always talk to your stylist and show your stylist pictures. I love when my clients, they always feel guilty for doing it, but show me pictures. Another thing, too, is if you're not getting compliments on your hair, <laughs> um, you change it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you're going to say. Yes, you might just feel sick. It's a good tip, actually. Yes, yeah. it is. It really is. In the past, I have probably told Tara to do my bangs in a way that she doesn't agree with. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> because she got excited when I said I like them long, didn't you? Yeah, she's been wanting me to grow them long. I do like them like this. I always thought my forehead was too high for like one, you know, long yes. bangs, but yep. now I think it's better like this. Yeah. So. So I'm just going to check the length in her layers. I can already see right here where it's dropped, that this is all even. It's falling, it's tapering very nice, just how I want it. There's a couple different ways that I check the length. Pretty. Look at those perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we love. So there's volume around the face, through the layering, thickness to the back. With Look how healthy that is. <laughs> healthy and six weeks ago when I was with you it was this health healthy mm -hmm. so this is why it's important to show up to your stylist every six to seven weeks because yeah. it's amazing just what that time period and all the products we use and the hot irons and all that what it can do this is why it will grow because now it's healthy and it mm -hmm. allows it to get longer Yay. <laughs> <laughs> who's your colorist I know we've talked about this I go to the edge salon Bill Vandiver's the owner. He's amazing. I've known him for years and years. I met him at, uh, when I was doing Mrs. Tennessee. Um, but Shay Chandler is his top stylist there, and that's who does my color. Your color is amazing. She, yeah, she does an awesome job. It looks so pretty and so healthy. Can't you guys see the difference? Look at this. <laughs> so if you're in the Nashville area, Check out Tara Phillips. She is at Unruly. We didn't even say your salon name. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> She's at Unruly in Aveda Salon yes. in Franklin. I also do have a separate page for hair. It's just Tara Phillips hair. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, so Tara Phillips hair. Um, okay. I, yeah. yes, a couple of different haircut styles on there just to give you guys an idea. I should post more, but I'm bad about it. Classic Tara is my personal page, but you guys can absolutely follow me there. You can see my life, my hairless cat. <laughs> Your hair, I did not know you have a hairless cat. <laughs> yes. yes. How ironic is no. it that I'm a stylist and I have a cat with no hair? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. How's that feel? I love it. I always leave so happy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Look at this, you guys. Beautiful. Thank you, Tara. And I will see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.